Assalamu alaikum and welcome to my room. Just before you come in, make sure you click on this subscribe button. Done? Welcome in. Today's video is going to be a little different. From my Instagram announcement, which you can see over here, me and my husband are expecting our second little bundle of joy. We're going to be looking at all the organisation and the preparation that I'm doing for this baby. So currently I am midway through my third trimester and time is coming really close and um, I've started my nesting phase and I thought it'd be really interesting to show you what I've organised and what I've prepared for this baby. So let's get right into it. Okay, so at the front of my room, I have a lovely white clean shelf and I have two blue baskets. I've kept them blue um, because it just matches with my room. And these beautiful green plants, I've kept this just so that I can keep that greenery and nature feeling um, going in the room. Now in these two lovely baskets, I have some really useful things because it's right on top of the baby changing unit. So the first basket here has baby's wool, which is baby's nappy chaining wool. Yeah, bring it close up so you can see. And I'm just going to keep topping this up when um, the baby's here. Um, I can just add more wool and it's just easier to grab on the go. Um, and then moving on to the next basket here. I have quite a little bit of a collection going on into this one. So for this little basket, I have baby's newborn nappies. I'm using the Mamiya collection of them. I used this for my first baby, Hayda, and um, he loved them. It worked really well for all of us. In this also, I've got a little pseudo creme for bums that have a rash. Um, and then I have the Panthen over here as a barrier cream. So all these things are right here, handy just on top of the chaining unit. And thirdly, I've got uh, a Dove Nappy Rash Cream, Nappy Cream for rich moisture. I used this on my first bone and I quite liked it. So I'm reusing it again. All of this is in the little baskets on top, which are quite nicely placed over here. So um, underneath the chaining unit, we have my mom chest of drawers. I purchased this from Ikea and I think it's really handy. It goes just with my height. And let's go through what I've actually put in here for the little baby. For the baby's clothes, I've decided to separate them where I put her dresses and her coats uh, in the standing up drawer outside. Um, she's sharing that with her brother. And in here are the rest of her clothes. So um, in this first drawer, I've got most of her grab and go things that I would need on a day to day basis. Starting off from the right hand side of the drawer, I have her cute little muslin cloths. I've got a little mermaid print going on over here. And I've got a collection of about four and five. In the box next to it, I have the large muslin cloths. So what I can use is just to burp the baby, use them around um, the house as well. Next to that is the box where I have her little vests sleeveless vests, her short sleeve vests. Um, there's quite a few in here because I know I'll be going through quite a lot. She is going to be a summer baby. And uh, so what I've done is I've washed and ironed and put everything away. Next to that over here is her little sleep suits. The colors on these are so adorable. So this is how I've ironed and put them away. Now, the folding way that I've used is actually the Mary Kondo way, so you can see what you're looking at. And my absolute favourite, I love all of them, but this one has to be my absolute favourite little sleep suit. Most of these are from Next. It is so adorable. I love the yellow flowers um, and the little frills that they've got here on the outfits. Um, so that's her baby grows. Inside here, I've also just put a little hand sanitizer. Um, that I purchased from Asda. I thought that would be just a, a great little addition to add into this. Now I'm already getting out of breath. <laughs> um, next to it is her cute little essentials pack. 
Um, I bought this from Boots. You can see her little hair comb, um, nail clippers, filers, and just a toothbrush. I bought this from Boots whilst I was actually out on Eid. I was purchasing for her <laughs> instead for myself. That is what I have over here. Now, next to it, I have a few miscellaneous products as well, just so that they're ready to go on um, when I need them. So first up is this Detol multi-purpose wipes, just to clean down the changing unit, the shelf. And then I have her bathroom essentials. I use um, a lot of the brand Dove. I, I really do love them. Um, I used this on my first child, on Heather, and he loved it. So this is the baby lotion and just an extra nappy cream here and a little Aveeno lotion for dry skin and then I have head to toe wash in Dove so I can use these, just carry them to the bathroom uh, when needs be and just a little baby oil as well. So that collection is over here. I'll also show you a little view of how it actually looks um, when I open the drawer. All right, so moving on to the second drawer, we have little baby girls shirts, newborn and zero to three sized, all iron and put away. And over here, we have a little collection of jumpers. I know it's, she's going to be a summer baby, but it's England and we can never trust the weather here. Next to that, in colour coded version, is all her little pants. Um, I've got a right cute little collection going on over here. And then over here, right next to all of that, is her tights, which are so adorable with all the frills. And over here are her socks, most of her socks are just white frilled socks, um, which I thought was, was really cute. It'll go underneath every outfit. I've also got some pink socks over here as well. So that's for the second drawer. And this is how the third drawer looks like, really organised. So talking from this end, these are all her outdoor hats. Um, we've got cute little hats going on over here. This one is like a little penguin, so adorable. And then we have, I think it's a little fox hat. Um, so yeah, cute little outdoor hats and two pair of gloves as well. Next to that is just some shoes that I purchased for herself. Over here are all her cute little headbands that I've got for her. All these different flower ones um, and different versions of them. Over here are all her indoor hats because newborn babies, they usually have hats. So I've bought a little collection. Most of these are actually from Next and Matalan. I'll try to link as many as I could in this description box. And moving on, we have over here is her, um, are her little bibs, different colours. This is her little pharmacy basket. And let me show you what I've actually got in here. So... In this little pharmacy basket that I've made for the baby are just some essentials I'll need if uh, she falls ill or just to on the go. So over here, first up is I have Infocol. These are just some anti-colic drops to be used. Uh, my first uh, born had colic, so I'm expecting the exact same again. I have some infant Calpol. Just so that I don't have to go running if, if the baby falls ill to Asda to get these things. I've got a saline nasal spray ready to go. And with that spray, I've got this Snuffle Babes nasal aspirator. This was really, really handy for my firstborn. Um, so I thought a brand new packet of that will do. A bit of vapor rub as well, just in case she gets a cold. And then I've got some vapor plug five pads that comes with this plug over here and all these are just all the mini essentials a little pharmacy that's going on over here just in case she gets a cold or a flu so now now that i've put that away the last thing that i've actually got in that drawer is these swaddles um easy wraps I've just purchased this one off Amazon. It's just about come yesterday, so I haven't actually had a chance to open it up. 
Um, it's a zipper bottom for easy diaper changes and it's just like a little swaddle, a little easy go wrap where you can just pop the baby in and wrap them up. Three step instructions right here. And this one I collected from Boots. I thought it was really cute. It's newborn, zero to three months. I'm gonna give it a go to see how it's actually like and if uh, the little one enjoys uh, staying swaddled up, then I'll be probably purchasing more. And so for this final drawer here, um, this is the cutest little drawer. I think it's one of my favorite ones because it's ever so color coded. I have her little blankets. I have two baby bed sheets and towels, baby towels, and two thick blankets over here. So these are her collection of blankets and towels. Okay, so moving on to the next piece of organization. What I prepared here is a three tier trolley. This is going to be going downstairs with her baby cot, where she's gonna be laying down most of the time. So talking through what I've actually purchased over here is a big blue jug. I can just fill that up with ice and water for when I need it. I have these cute little baskets from B&M and I have nappy bags in here and um, just some small muslins to burp the baby. The tiers of this trolley are divided into three. The top tier is actually dedicated to nursing for the baby. Um, so most of the things that I have over here are for nursing. I'd say my kind of golden purchase over here is this large nursing protection cover. I purchased this from Amazon. You can just put it over your head and nurse the baby whilst you're downstairs, which I thought would be really, really handy. I have some oils and I have ibuprofen and paracetamol for myself and just the same hand sanitizer that I had before, just before I can touch the baby, I can sanitize my hands. And I think we have a little heatherly walking downstairs. Moving on to the second layer, I have more newborn mamia nappies and cotton wool. And the third section is dedicated to my firstborn heather who's still in nappies and um, this is the changing unit cover uh, well changing cover that I'm going to use for on the go nappy changing and just his nappies and wipes. So moving on to the final bits and pieces we have over here a oxo tot drying rack a space saving drying rack which I thought would be really handy um, I'm planning on actually using this for my firstborn Heather's feeders um, whilst I use a steriliser for the second baby's feeders and bottles. Talking about that, which I have purchased. I This time I usually go for, for Tommy Tippy and Event and Philip and Dr Brown. I read really, really good, fantastic reviews about these Mum Easy Start anti-colic bottles. So I purchased a, a packet of four for this little one. They are so adorable. I have uh, the little feeder out. It is self-sterilizing, which I thought would be really handy if we do have a travel on the go, because she is going to be a summer baby at the end of the day. So I thought that'd be really handy. So I have two here and two here. Um, now for the bathing of the baby, I bought this foam bath support from B&M. I think I've only just seen it in B&M. I bought a darker colour because I thought white's going to get dirty too quickly. And what this is, you just pop it into the your sink or your bath or wherever you're bathing the baby. You just pop it the baby down and um, it's easier to just give them a bath. And with that comes my cute, well not with that, but <laughs> inside over here is where I put this little big bath form is a little laundry basket I bought for this little girl. Um, I'll just pop her dirty laundry in here and I can take it down. Again, this is from Ikea. The next item that I'm gonna show you I'm really excited about because it's took a lot of creativity to come up with what I did. Um, for my first baby head that I've never actually done um, such a thing. My first baby, I bought a baby bag from Mother Care, which was like a backpack. It was in blue, it was very nice. Um, but soon I got bored of it and I thought this is no more trendy 
and I stopped using it and I came down to a normal handbag. So I thought this time I'm going to stick to a handbag, a big handbag, and I'm going to make use of organisers in there. So the bag that I purchased is from River Island. I've still not taken it out actually from its packaging. As you can see here, this pretty beautiful thing over here is my River Island grey bag. So, so this is going to be my baby bag. In, uh, I'll try to find the link and put the link in the description box. Now when I open this up, the fantastic and creative thing here is that I have a little organiser in there where I've been able to actually organise the baby's products. If I take that out, it is really useful and really helpful. I purchased this Sibum organiser from Amazon in large. Sibum. There we go. I thought I'd get it in red because it just adds that feeling of a luxury. Um, in here, I've got the a baby's changing mat, some toddler wipes. And I still need to fill this up. Again, another um, nursing protector. I still need to fill it up, but it has so many pockets and so many different sections that I can put in so many things over here and I can see them on the go. I hope you really enjoyed this video about my preparation and organization for this second baby. Let me know what you thought was really handy and what you have enjoyed about this video. And hopefully we'll have more updates uh, to do with the arrival of the second one. So please stay tuned and follow our Instagram page for more updates. And um, I shall see you soon. Bye bye.